Horatio Alger, an author, a reformer, and an influencer, made by Christian Storm. Horatio Alger Jr. was born on January 13, 1832, to Reverend Horatio Alger Sr. and Olive Augusta. In his childhood, Alger was the oldest of five, having four sisters. He was known as an avid reader and student. Horatio was born in the residential town of Chelsea, Massachusetts. He grew up in poor and destitute conditions as his father struggled to bring in enough money to support a family his size. Known as an avid student and reading enthusiast, Alger breezed through his local preparatory school. Unsurprisingly, he enrolled at Harvard University at the young age of 16 in 1848. At Harvard, he met and was guided by many influential authors of the time, such as James Walker and Asa Gray. He graduated in the top 9% of his class in 1852 and was part of the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society. Outside of his literary career, Alger lived an unconventional life. He never married and bounced around from job to job, working as a newspaper editor, a teacher, and even a principal. Alger went back to school at Harvard Divinity School and traveled to Europe to further his studies. Around this time, the Civil War broke out in America. Alger returned home to Massachusetts only to be drafted in 1861. However, due to his inability to pass the eye test and his below average 5 foot 2 inch stature, he was sent home. The events that diminished his reputation occurred after he was given a ministerial title at the First Unitarian Church of Brewster, Massachusetts. Following his induction in 1864, Alger was accused of sexual misconduct with the youth of the church in 1866. Following an official investigation, he left the church that same year, never denying nor confirming the claims that he had molested two boys of the church. Yikes. His writing career took off in the 1870s and took up most of his life from then until his later years. In the late 1890s, Alger became increasingly ill with bronchitis and moved in with his sister. He died of severe illness on July 18, 1899, at the age of 67. The Career of Horatio Alger Alger's name became known in college when two of his essays received much acclaim. From his formal graduation from Harvard until 1856, Alger struggled as an author as his pieces did not bring in sufficient income alone. His first piece met with good feedback was Bertha's Christmas Vision, a short holiday story, which he published in 1856. Alger's first major hit, and the book that would later become his claim to fame, was entitled Ragged Dick. The book was inspired by a boy Alger had met years previous, and centered upon a worker boy named Richard's journey from poverty to obtaining middle-class respectability. The novel, deemed revolutionary by some, served to inspire not only the working youth, but the working class as a whole to work hard for their goals. He was then contracted by an official publisher to write more stories similar to his bestseller, which sold millions. His later works followed the archetype set by Ragged Dick, and this was referred to as Alger's Myth. Such books were entitled Tattered Tom and Fame and Fortune. His popularity decayed over time as a more adventurous period of writing took the center stage. Alger couldn't adapt to this more daring style of writing, and lost his magic. Impact on the populist movement Through his progressive style of writing and the rags to riches stories he told, Horatio Alger encouraged young readers to use hard work and altruism to reach their goals. In the 1870s, his works were intended to invigorate the poor to work up in society, and this was his contribution to the populist movement. His actions would later be memorialized in the Horatio Alger Association. This group awards those who have succeeded in the face of adversity, therefore honoring his memory. You might give him your box and brush too, Dick. No, said Dick. I'll give him some new ones, but mine I want to keep to remind me of the hard times I've had when I was an ignorant bootblack and never expected to be anything better. When in short, you're a ragged dick. You must drop that name and think of yourself now as Richard Hunter. Esquire, said a hero smiling, a young gentleman on the way to fame and fortune.